What's up, everybody? Uh, my kids are coming over tonight, so we're going to test out a few beers. But uh, first off, Marcelle's wanting to get into her strawberry fudge. Well, we got this here. R.A.R. Fudge Dipped Strawberries. And I like how the can looks like it's dirty. Like it's a... Uh, when I first got it, I thought the can was dirty, but it's the way the label looks. Now with these releases here, the Willy Wonka theme, you always gotta check. See if you get a golden ticket. No, no golden ticket with this one. Sorry. That would be cool though. Now I was surprised by the uh, everlasting rainbows of all the uh, RARs I've tried, which I haven't, I'm not an RAR guy, but the Everlasting Rainbow was actually pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Party foul. What the heck? I don't think I've ever spilt a beer. Now, woo! That's kind of a surprising color. That is a. I watched a couple folks review this. You know, I saw the color on their videos, but until you kind of see it in person, it's not what I expected at all. How about you? I've never seen it. Now, I'm just going to taste this because this is obviously uh, Marsha Dale's beer, not mine. Hmm. Can you smell it? Mostly chocolate or fudge. You want me to taste it first? Or you yeah, want me to taste, taste it? it first. Again, uh, not as sour as the other RERs, and I, I kind of dig that. It did hit me in the back of the jaws a little bit, but not like the uh, what was the leprechaun one and the other one we mm -hmm. had last year, the pumpkin pie one. Yeah, but the fudge definitely comes through like big time chocolate taste and uh, it's got like a uh, you guys remember like strawberry 7-up and stuff like that like uh, who does the strawberry drink is it Fago? yeah, yeah the Fago strawberries it's got a lot of that taste really fizzy but that chocolate does come right on through Oh, it's pretty good now if I can get her to get one drink of this on camera without me getting hit with a shoe we'll see what Marcia Bell thinks about it and she's just going to drink it out of the can like a country girl what do you think? I like it I could I could barely taste the strawberry. I could take, taste the fudge more. Yeah, so that, like I said, that chocolate comes right on through. Mm -hmm. The strawberry, like I said, there's a little hint of like a strawberry soda almost at the end of it. Yeah. And it's not nearly as sour as most of uh, these RARs are. But overall, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, the kids are coming over. We're going to probably try out a couple beers tonight so we'll just keep on trucking and uh, get a couple more of these done <laughs> all right everybody you've seen uh, my daughter Jessica and her husband Trey and Trey had one of these with me uh, tonight I thought we'd try one of these here 2000 I think this is 18 CBS's yes this is the 2018 CBS. Now this is a big boy right here. So that's why I need a little help drinking this one. Y'all know I don't drink that much. This is a daddy one. And that's a daddy one? <laughs> Alright. We're going to add that to my fancy bottle cap collection. Jessica right over there by you. See that jar? <laughs> now this is the uh, Canadian breakfast stout. what they call this one. It's supposed to taste like coffee and maple syrup and pancakes and, and uh, it's not as strong as the bourbon counties but uh it's still 
11.6 percent it's a big daddy one and not strong mm -hmm. <laughs> cause you're not strong <laughs> you're a baby right, so Michael you, you wanna try it? I'll try it alright nice. you gotta come over and try it on camera now that's the only caveat with me, you know, everything. Marsh is like, yeah, fucking YouTube. I'll tell you I'm gonna bust in right here. I'll be like, just outside of the show. So you gotta smell it. Ooh. <laughs> Man, that just got a strong coffee smell. It does. It smells really good. Mm. This is probably the darkest one I've ever had. Now, yeah, it's dark. Audrey, it's not quite it? motor oil, but it's she's dark. Mm. I am picking up a lot more maple in this one than I did the 2019 one. Mm. It is really sweet. Uh, you're supposed, these are the uh, the ones you drink them at room temperature because it brings out all the flavors and stuff. Mm. And then uh, after a while, I'll let you try one of these because this is my favorite. Which one's that one? This is the Bourbon County Stout 2020. Everybody on my channel has heard me talk way too much about these, about how much I like them. So. This one's really good. Uh, let me get Trey a little. Wow, see what he thinks. I like it. It looks really good. It tastes almost just like coffee to me. Yes, it tastes like black coffee after you like ate pancakes or something. That's like I'm drinking a fancy, fancy crystal glass. Dang. Just three. <laughs> this is the glass mine. I see it's out in California, Monica sent me. Now you've had this before, so. Yep. different flavor yeah this is a lot more coffee heavy than, than the bourbon county pick up a lot of coffee like I said a little bit of maple syrup you can definitely taste the coffee in it yeah a lot of coffee not as much as the the KBS breakfast stuff <laughs> yeah. that that one's way more coffee than this yeah the, the same people make this one it's pretty much the same beer, it's just uh, got some maple and stuff added to it. Pretty good, pretty good. The uh, the KBS breakfast was too much coffee. But we were trying to figure out ways to get that coffee taste down a little bit. This one's this one's better. This is a more manageable coffee taste for sure. Well, this one's uh, three years old now, so it's sitting in the bottle for a little while. Okay. All those flavors tend to mellow out, you know, the longer they sit. And uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It just depends. Yeah. But this is really good. I, I could see having this with a stack of pancakes in the morning or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not on a work day. Yeah. <laughs> Start the day out right. All right, I'm going to go rinse my cup out. And we're going to let Michael try the, the big dog here. If you want any more of that? Right there. Come on, I'm good. <laughs> Last time, Jimmy, with the with the Bourbon County, I was having trouble walking back to the house. <laughs> Little too much on that, so I'm gonna be conservative today. Uh, this I found at River Point in Fort Smith, and they've only got a few of these left, and they actually quit making this. The uh, the one over there that's got the Mountie on the horse. That's the 2000. 16 or 17 2017 and it's even harder to find i got the last bottle of it so we'll sit on this the rest of my stuff over there for a while now i have been able to find these but they're getting harder to find so i've got to go stock up on these a little bit i think i've only got seven or eight of them left but i really want michael to try this one that's my fancy bottle cap collection. I saw that one, but I, was, mm -hmm. I wanted to get it, but I was like, I don't know. Now, the thing is, you think 12 bucks is a lot for a beer. Right. 
That's what stopped me. But uh, one of these <laughs> will, will get you further than a six pack of Michelob Ultra. I'm just saying. Yep. And it tastes a whole lot better. See, last time I went to a liquor store, there was like three of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, uh, I went and bought the rest of them out last night. Mm -hmm. And they threw the dang box away after making such a big deal, but I wanted that box. Wow. All right. Yeah, smell that one. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's different, right? Yeah. It feels like very, I don't know the word. A lot more bourbon on top. Yeah. A little bit more chocolate. I'm gonna burn a little bit going down. <laughs> Trey, I'll give Trey a little bit. I know he wants a little bit. I, I told you it's the alcohol content. <laughs> <laughs> right, these, these are 14.6. So, so they're not. Right. No, uh, nope. you know most of the little party vodkas and stuff you get are like 30 proof. So this is almost that. And it's you know it's just like drinking it straight. I like to. Brady will chug the rest of that. I'll get her a little pour. But look how sticky, look how sticky your glass is with these. Woo! Oh, yeah. oh my God, that's smooth. It is that smooth. is super smooth. Now the other one, the KB, uh, the CBS is good. I already drank that. Man. That's why I just chugged. No. Oh, you oh it did I pour the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was subconscious. <laughs> yeah. I swear. Sorry. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that one's dangerous. Yeah. Super, super smooth. <laughs> I like this one better. There, I finished that nasty old CBS <laughs> for you. <laughs> I'm a lightweight, okay? Yeah, that's why I only give you guys a little bit. I'm I just helped him with one and I. Hey, I'm not gonna deny no free liquor to you. I got up off the stool and I was like, mmm. I started going this way. I was like, okay. Yeah, I had a little more than I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, now these bad boys right here, like if you're sitting down, like, you know, live streaming, and you happen to drink about three of these. You're gonna have a little bit of a hard time getting up. <laughs> now the uh, the CBS, the KBS, the Backwoods Bastard. I really like all the Founders barrel aged stuff I've had, but it doesn't come close, you know, as far as taste and smoothness. Uh, Jessica, right inside that door, there's a little silver can. Yeah, this is the only thing that's come close and this was very close I almost said it was better than this I mean they are neck and neck I would have a hard time choosing wow. so I've got two of these coming to 21090 guys I cannot wait to, to drink it with them very close and but these like the kid had to go to the back cooler and he had them saved back for some, he was waiting for somebody to come grab an armload of these I think and then when we start talking about barrel aged beers, he went and pulled this out of the stash. This is like probably the last one of these in this area. So, and I know uh, like people trade beer and stuff online all the time, and they've been trading these for like some some big time beers. So, I know where you can get those. These? Sodies. Okay. Nah, I tried it. Really? Uh, so I went to Sodies. It we Sodies didn't them. have them, and River Point oh, got me the last four pack. Yeah, they have some, but they're like the pink. They're yeah. Different. Yeah. Uh, Ozark Beer Company makes a lot, a lot of beers, a lot of different beers. But if you can find the BD CS 2020, snatch it up. It is right there with this. This is good. Yeah. As you want now. Now you can drink these cold, but as they warm up, they get better. And like I said. If this was the only barrel aged beer you ever had, this is pretty amazing. But these things right here will ruin you. Like, <laughs> you're gonna be chasing this dragon forever now if you don't pick some up. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. 
I don't even remember. That is good, though. Okay. Oh. Did you accidentally set it next to me? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but look how it, just that sticky, syrupy goodness. It's so thick. Everything's better. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this beer is definitely thick with two C's. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna turn the camera off I'm gonna have fun with the kids tonight we're gonna finish this off and if they get a wild hair and want to try something else we'll turn it back on but I don't know we'll see how the night goes <laughs> Rock on. Hey, what are you doing, Kara? Because it's still doing it. Oh, 